Warning, 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 warning. The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building. 88 Shape, Wolf 5, Street Super Radio. DJ K Slade, the Drama King is in the building. Jazzy Bell TV is in the building. Yeah. Moving right along, we got another special guest in the building. We got Locksmith in the building. Yes, sir. What's good? Lock, what's up, bro? What's up, my brother? I just came from your hood, man. I was in Harlem. Word? Yeah, I just had my album release uh, party, man. You know where, what I mean? Where you did it at? Uh, Angel of Harlem. Shout out to Angel of Harlem right there on uh, 123rd and Frederick Douglass. Okay, West Side. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, man. That's what's up. It was live, man. Shout out to everybody who came through. Is that the spot on the corner? Right on the corner. Yeah, I've been there before. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I bet you have. You know all the <laughs> spots. You know all the spots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I, Cut the shit. I'm from shit. Harlem and I ain't never been there. But it, 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 Cut it's the it, shit. It, it, it's it, a fairly yeah. new spot, though. It's fairly new. Yeah. Damn, yeah. fairly new. Like what you you be on? I'm in Harlem every day. You know that? Like, come on. You be on Spots, you be on Spots, and I'm a foodie. Spots, it's really Google. a restaurant, right? Yes, yeah, a restaurant. It's a but restaurant. they have live music. They yeah, get you know see? what I mean. Yeah. SpotsGoogle.com. <laughs> <laughs> Spots Google. You ain't mad when I be telling your ass to come meet me there and eat, and then you be bragging about the food the next day. I ain't heard about that one though. Anyway, Locks went to the motherfucking building. <laughs> yeah, man. what up, Lock? What's, What's going good? on, man? Everything is good. I got this new album about to come out on Friday. Okay, life is good, man. Nice. What's the name of the album? Uh, the album is Olive Branch, man. It's uh, it's my third like official album. You know what I mean? Completely independent. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm just so happy, ready to get it out to the world. I dropped a couple videos. It's been received well. About to go on tour, so it's lovely. Okay, that's yeah, what's up. Man. You got uh, it's all you. Any features? Oh, uh, yeah, we got it. Well, you know, I'm. I think I'm. It's no rap features. You know what I mean? I got mm -hmm. a couple like collaborative singers and production. Uh, but yeah, it's really you know. I just wanted to take because the last album I did, last mixtape, I had a lot of people. You know, I had Fred the Guy on. I had Mark Battles. I had a you know what I mean a bunch of cats on there. Yeah. So this the album is more you know uh, more introspective. Mm. So you know what I mean? It's like Good. nigga talking about his mama. You kind of can't really have a you know what I mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm talking about my you know what I mean my girl. It's like yeah, I feel you. You it's know, more so, personal. Yeah, it's personal. So um, how many tracks is on there? Uh, 12. 12 tracks. Yeah, keep it oh, yeah, yeah. sweet said, to the point. Fuck that. No extra anything. Nah, you niggas just take 12. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it Which is. Which is a big deal. Nowadays, niggas are so lazy. That's true. They giving no. you a two and a few. No, but what it is, after 11 tracks, you don't get publishing. Oh, I know that too. So what, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know, like, well, I'm going to give you one free joint. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? A anything after, after that, that, you basically, you're not getting it's, nothing. It's free. Your yeah, free. It's, yeah. it's a freebie. But only mm. thing that's different now, because of the streaming... And uh, you know iTunes, whatever. If you decide to throw a bonus track on iTunes, or I actually do. I have a bonus track on the iTunes. Yeah, exactly. Version. Yeah, they mean on the you digital know, version. Yeah. So you know, it, it, you can at least get a little. So it ain't gonna be a lot. Yeah. Because even streaming, you might. I don't know if that shit is one <laughs> fucking quarter of a. I don't. It, yeah, I think they it's, just it's moved it. Bullshit. I think they it's just moved weird. it to like nine tenths. Yeah. Of yeah. A, so it's uh, uh, basically uh, like a penny. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Close yeah. to a penny. You know? Yeah, that's streaming for every play. But that's just like what you gotta understand: the streaming isn't purchasing. That means just that listening. motherfucker just listen. Well, you know what? It's it's how you balance it out because if a mo so if somebody paid ten dollars for your album, right? Yeah. Which is great because we get that money up front. But then, and you play it a thousand times, I never make another dime off of that. But if you stream it. You keep playing it. I keep getting paid for those pennies and ever and ever and it do because yeah. I, I mean on some real shit. I'm looking at my streaming. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Yeah. I'll take you know that. I mean? Man, keep the pennies. Give me the dollars. Yeah. Man. go buy <laughs> no. my shit. Well, you know what I mean. I need, I need, I need, I need each, I think that's a little more lucrative. I need maybe. each one of you cheap motherfuckers. <laughs> right. <laughs> To pitch Both. in, go half half with the motherfucker and get my project. Even yeah. if y'all split the shit and y'all listen to it <laughs> yeah. together, whatever. Fuck that. That streaming shit. It's it's a good thing, but damn, man, they got penny. Well, you want that upfront money for sure. Yeah. Oh, if yeah. I can take that upfront, I'm gonna take it. A bird okay. in the hand beats two in the bush. Yeah. There you, you know, go. That shit go. So look. <laughs> um, you know K. dropping bad jewels tonight. You on the road, That's baby. That's the old saying. So, uh, yeah. Look. Uh, the project. What's the first joint you want to jump into? Uh, number two is a song called Nobody, produced by my homie Kato from Atlanta. In today's shape, Wolf Five Street Super Radio DJ K Slate, Drama King in the building, Jazzy Bell TV is in the building. We got Locksmith in yeah, the building. Yeah. Yes, Lock. sir. I don't fuck with nobody. nobody. Jesus Christ. We're not playing. I love that fucking record. <laughs> you know, you do. Thank yeah. you so much. Already. We were Olive lit. Branch. Yeah, man. New album. Yes, you sir. Know what I'm dropping this weekend. Friday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, March 31st. Yo, um, man, you one of the 
to me, you're one of the greatest lyricists out. Mm. Uh, I express that to everyone. Like it, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Like with me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you're from. It's where you at. That's real. You understand what I'm saying? And you're one of them people that I know. That, that, that means a lot, man. That when you get on the microphone, like you got something to give them, and especially in a time right now where it's it's records. And don't get me wrong. Like when I was back in the days when I was younger, I fucked with drugs. I smoked <laughs> weed. I smoked dust. Uh, I didn't do none of that pill shit or anything. That shit couldn't, you know, it didn't do nothing for me. Anything. But what I'm just trying to say is that in 2017, for us to have all these drug related records, like niggas got shit about Percocets and this and that and the third mm -hmm. and syrup and all that. Cool. If that's what you want to do, fine. But for you to actually be able to get on the mic on these same beats and I've heard you drop science yeah, and, and talk about the politics and the shit that's going on in the world today, you know what I'm saying? That's a blessing because some people can't take it there. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's why I appreciate you as being one of the, the greatest lyricists out this motherfucker right now. Damn, man. That's, that's Great. huge, man. That right. means a lot, Kay. I mean, I just... I appreciate that you uh, recognize that because, you know, as an artist, I take my artistry seriously. I put a lot. I only know how to make music from a sincere place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't, like, if I'm talking about politics, then this is something how I feel. If I'm talking exactly. about how I grew up, if I'm talking about bitches, that's how I feel. You know what I mean? Like, we yeah. all go through these different emotions, whatever it may be. And I feel like if, you, if you're if you a true artist, if you're true to what you do, you're going to talk about all those things. Like, I would be... I don't just sit up and just, you know I mean, think about the fucking politics all day. I think about this too. I think about all that. And I feel like if you're a real artist, you can you can interweave between all of that. You know, because those are the artists that I love. The Tupacs, the Jays, the, mm. you know what I'm saying? Eminem's like, those are the ones that I kind of like grew up on, like looking like, yo, I want to be able to do that one day, you know? That's real talk right there. Yeah. So right now, um, are you doing any touring? Like, yeah. You, know, you do a promo tour for the album? What, what you got going on with that this situation? Okay, so I'm about to, after I leave here, I'm going to stay in New York in a couple more days, and I got a show um, Monday in Philly. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, and I got another show in Boston on uh, Tuesday. Yeah. And then I got another show uh, in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And then uh, <laughs> Evansville, Damn. Indiana, then back to the Bay, and then L.A., and then I'm going on a real long tour um, in, at the end of May. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, like, really? yeah. So, I, I just been working, man. You know what I mean? Like, as you know, as an independent artist, we got to get out there on the road, you know? That's Shout right. out to my homie, uh, uh, it's going to sound crazy, this name, but Kung Fu Vampire, man. He's one of the dopest... <laughs> He's one of the dopest underground cats, and he was like, yo, Locke, he, he knows the touring game, he has it down, he's like, yo, you coming on the road, let's do this. So we're going to go out at the end of uh, end of May through, in the summer, so I'm excited about that so that's as well. a promoter, or is he an artist? He's an artist. He's oh, a he's musician. Artist Incredible. So is, he, oh. is he biting people? Yeah, he, 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 he knows karate right. or that's just his name like, that's his name man. Okay, I'm just, he you know get saying? you from all angles yeah, yeah. right Kay? He, he be biting Kung chicks Fu nah, man, I need a nigga like he, that he on be, my team he be kicking niggas ass motherfucker come out dressed chicks, like a like, vampire you know what I mean <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be diverse, you know what I mean? Because right. lyricism is lyricism. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. It's like you know I've done shows with, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers in the club. I've done shows where it's like you know what I mean? Where it's like all different kind of aspects of the of the culture, and I feel like if you're a real you know artist, real MC, this is what we do. You know, it don't matter to me. That's real talk. Yeah. So you being a part, uh, pardon me, you being a part of hip hop culture, what does hip hop mean to you? Um, what does hip hop mean? To, hip hop is my like. It's my motivation, my inspiration, dude. Like, it's crazy because I had a sister. I, I mentioned it because my sister was here last time. I remember I brought my oh, sister. Yeah. Sure did. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, I was immersed in it. I didn't even know. You know, like, my sister was a rapper. And then when I, you know, came of age and I started rapping, like, it's like... <sighs> It's my inspiration. It's my motivation. It's my livelihood. It's what I do. You know, like I don't do this because of money. It's not a hustle to me. Okay. You know, this is what I fucking love. Like I love writing raps. I love recording. I love making beats. I love going out performing. I love putting albums together. I love freestyle. I love battle rapping. Like these are the things I love. That's why I've done every part of the culture because mm -hmm. I love this shit. You know what I mean? Without and I before I ever even made a dime off of this, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's my motivation. So I, I can't do anything but 
give back to hip hop because it's like it's what you know it's the shit that keeps me going. That's why I was enamored with New York. I was like, yo, I gotta come to New York because this yeah. is where hip hop came from. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to mm-hmm. see it. You know what I mean? I want to come to Harlem. I want to come to the Bronx, to Brooklyn. You know what I mean? All over. So yeah, it's everything to me. Culture. Culture. Eighty Day Shape Oh Five Street Super Radio. So what's the next joint we gonna get into? Let's get into number four. I think it's uh, it's called Agenda. We're talking about some politics. It's some real shit. Here we go, y'all. It is eight shape four five street sweeper radio DJ K Slate drama king in the building Jazzy Bell TV in the building ooh, ooh. got Locksmith in the building yay <laughs> that was something off a of Miss Hustle mixtape that just came out it's called Can't Knock the Hustle with herself Locksmith and uh, Saigon that's my new protege fire and I really took on the situation because they make it like it's so hard to uh, break a female artist but it's not that it's y'all motherfuckers just don't show love to them mm. so, real. Yeah, it's a task for me, and I'm going to do what I do. We got Locksmith in the building. Yes, sir. We got Shout out to Miss Hustle and Saigon. That shit was fire. Yeah, to the point. Everybody touched it the way it's supposed to be touched. Exactly. Current events and past fuckery events. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got you here. Yeah. Got your new project. You know Olive Branch, yes, sir. Olive Branch, Friday. Friday, March 31st. Pre-order it now on iTunes or whatever you listen to. Now, why that title? Um, because, you know, Olive Branch has a lot of symbolism. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me, the main thing that I identify with was reconciliation. As a man, as an artist, just as a human being, reconciling things in my life. You know what I mean? Coming coming to terms with things in, in the past and moving on. And I felt like that's where this album, like when you hear a song like, I fuck with nobody. Mm-hmm. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't sound like you reconciling. Well, no, it is because sometimes <laughs> reconciling, saying like, you know what? Sometimes some people are unreachable and you got to just walk away from that. You okay. know what I mean? So it's like, I didn't say I reconcile with you. I'm reconciling with myself. Got gotcha. you. You know what okay. I'm saying? But sometimes that is a way. Like sometimes you have to set the example for people. But like, look, if you're going to be a certain way, I can't fuck with you until mm-hmm. you come correct. I'm sure we all can identify with that, right? Yeah. We all get in that mood, like, look, I can't fuck with y'all. So that's not like the whole, you know, the album has, I like to make albums with peaks and valleys. Layers. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, but I feel like that's the, you know, that's like the starting point. So, yeah. Telling the nigga straight up, look, your ass stink. Nigga, wash <laughs> your ass so I can't fuck with you. Yeah. Word up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. So when you right now, right, where you at with this game? I mean... I know it's always a journey. It's always more you feel you could do. But yeah. From you being a lyricist and you already putting out, you know, records and letting people know how you stand. What more do you think it is that you can do for the culture to where it's at right now? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like I got a lot to offer. I don't feel like the culture has seen nothing like me. I mean, I'm a, I'm a half black, half Persian. You know what I'm saying? MC. My roots are in the Middle East and my roots are here in the Bay Area and you know what I mean in the United States so I'm representing for a whole people that really hasn't had that chance to be spoken for yet as well you know um and I feel like I have a unique voice that I want to give to the rest of the world so I want to I want my platform to get bigger and bigger so I can spread it as far as I can you know mm. like it's not enough like I want I don't want to be doing 500 capacity venues I want to be doing 5000 and 50000 one day so I feel like lyricism can do that yeah cuz it and it can you just got to it just takes a minute Real shit takes a minute. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know that I loved broccoli until I was 30 years old. You know what I mean? That's a fact. I was like, yo, I and love onions bro- and shit, Yeah, right? and asparagus. I love this shit. Like, well, I was tripping. <laughs> Par- asparagus make Parents you piss try to tell you. It do, make your, it do make you piss thing, but that shit is good for you. But when you a kid, you think McDonald's is the best shit in the world. That's all you it's want. Terrible. But no, it's real because it's so funny that <laughs> when it's I first true, ate asparagus, you know, mm-hmm. the doctor asked me, yo, you need to. So I ate it. And I remember using the bathroom, and I know I live right on the Hudson River, you understand? So I'm like, okay, toilet's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? No problem. Oh, when I'm the fuck hit you. I'm hearing that shit for a whole day. But then when I go to this other station I work at, I flush it, <laughs> right? Now, it's also in the Hudson River, so yeah. I smell the same smell. So I asked where the couple, I said, yo, does the... Toilet smell a little funny, like we brush. He looks like, what you mean? I said, nothing, never mind. <laughs> you understand what I'm Real saying? quick. So, <laughs> when I go here, <laughs> tell and it I all yourself. Fucking piss, right? Now, now we a little bit, little, if we are the west side, we're a little closer to the east. You know, right. Avenue was like the, and I smell it. So then I had to look the shit. I said, yo, 
it's the fucking asparagus, asparagus that yep. got my piss smelling like shit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? Cleaning out them toxins, yeah, man. Yeah, but I didn't know because <laughs> it was weird. I'm thinking this because, you know, the river can set off some fucked up yeah. shit. When you live near the river, you smell some shit sometimes. Yeah, y'all get that mm-hmm. out here for shit. sure. Yeah, yeah, we get it. I'm thinking it's the toilet bowl. Or don't, or don't let your girl try to go down on you at... Oh, I'm sorry. Damn! I'm sorry. This is real nigga radio. Yeah, Please, I mean, if, if you if you you know if you if you eat, if you eating funny things, you know what I mean. If you eating funny things, your girl might come after you and be like, "Hey, what what did you eat today, well, baby?" That's only if you bust in her mouth. I think. I think it should well, probably be like. But that's what he's talking about. But yeah, yeah, that right? should be like. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. You got pre cum though. You do taste pre cum. I don't know. I wouldn't know because I'm a male. School us. I don't know what pre cum for my male. School us. So that's the female shit, definitely. You understand? That's why he's. Correct. You know what I'm saying? He's like, correct in his assessment. Your radio. Can you tell us Shit what that is like? No, no, no. All right. Stop playing on me. I was talking about when you're eating a chick. Like, I ain't no, saying that. Like, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like, the same for us, too. Yeah, we have to watch our diet. Absolutely. Why are you automatically thought about a nigga, Randy? I'm talking about Slay, shit. we know where your head was at. So you know, stop. if a girl, <laughs> you know you know, if a girl's Slay, been eating pineapples or something all day, and, she, and she's, you know, she might. That's some bullshit. I don't know where no, this it's stupid no. shit sweeter. come from. And it's the same It's the same with men. It's the same with men. If you guys drink orange juice or pineapple before you um put your cock in a woman's mouth your lock. it will taste different than your you. ass eating some bitter ass steak <laughs> studies have shown for that to be correct your lock they be rubbing some honey on this shit <laughs> for you <laughs> In the bathroom, nigga. Don't believe Sugar that walls. what they eat. <laughs> it, 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 oh, it's, it's definitely out some there. tricks to the game. Yeah, yeah, see, that's what I'm trying but to say. Your lock, don't diet, sour diet is shit. very important. If you smell Gummy a dance. chick's pussy that eats mad puss, meat, yo. no. If you taste or smell sour a chick's puss. pussy that eats mad meat versus a woman that's vegan, it's different. It's different sense. Yeah, that shit smell like vegetables. I, don't, I only fuck with vegan, vegan pussy. Chicks. That's it. See, I, I, see, I was <laughs> vegan for five years, so I know from a personal... Personal you, smell, you just smell like air. <laughs> like ve- I just smell like vegetables, my nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> and today's shape on uh, Street Super Radio. What's the next joint we going to get to? Uh, let's get into <laughs> number <Vegetable pussy>. eight. <laughs> shape 40. I got this feeling. I got this feeling. 88. Am I on? 88 Shape 45 Street Sweeper Radio. K Slade, Drama King in the building. Jazz Bell TV in the building. Gia. This salmon is exceptionally good tonight. Oh my God, it's my first time. Thank you, <laughs> Kay, for um treating me to dinner. I'm always putting you on to something. Did you get, yeah, that, did you get that asparagus with it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Strong piss crew tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Piss that Hudson River out. <laughs> Hudson River. Funky cold Medina. <laughs> but you know, you got to clean your system out. You know what I'm yeah, you do, you do. You no, know, but uh, 88 Shade Profile, Stupid Radio. Locksmith, I want to thank you for coming through. Always, man. Sitting always. down with us, networking with us, yes, politics sir. with us. Um, no, we do it. Dropping off that fire. Everything you play yeah, so right. far tonight has been thank crazy. You. Yeah. Thank you, man. Production's been like off the hook. Thank you very well. much. Yeah. New project. Olive Branch. Branch. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Friday. But Lock, um, can, I, can I get a couple bars? You got a couple bars from me? Ooh. You, you, you got something? I know you got something. Man, I don't know, okay? I don't you're, know. You're a lyricist, man. Man, mm-hmm. th- come on, man. Let's do it. Wait, wait. You got something for me? Give me give me some classic hip-hop shit, though. Nah, 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 nah. We did hard? that last time I was here. You did? Yeah, you did that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me some Biggie, some... Uh, that, that was Who shot you? Yourself. Some shit. Uh, uh, you know what I uh, mean? Uh, oh, we we got that. You know what I'm saying? I want to. I want. I want that shit. You know what I mean? You know. I love a locksmith come up here, man. He <laughs> always kill it. Yeah. K Slay. Yeah. Locksmith, listen. Look. Uninspired, unrequired to make a statement. Unimpressive, someone invested and paid for placement. Either you bragging or you crooning me. The so called progressive media promotes the most buffoonery and tries to pass it as an expose and expose what they say is a social threat. Go play. Sway a politician you fish and I laugh from. The same folks who voted for him, they elected the last one. If you sad once you get the results, then so briefly, disbelief runs deep in the very soil beneath me. Got approached by a dude as I entered the Mo Show. He asked me if I still rap. My reaction was, nigga, no. 
If you know, then you know. If you don't, then why reveal them? 30 minutes later, I'm on stage engaging the building. I'm building a repertoire. So massive, I set the ball for myself high enough to get high off the very thought. See, niggas with no talent try to reverse their debt by doing the reverse to be first to research the best. It's less about the music, more of a deep thirst for checks. Turn around and sell you overpriced t-shirts and sweats. Fuck your merch. I'm knocking you niggas off of your perch. Persecuted for being me and I'm starting a new church. A new search of something greater than they doctrine. No substance, so they speed up their verses like an auction. Here we go, here we go, dead that shit. Illegible. What's the difference between that and so-called mumble rap? Hip-hop is hip-hop. Stop the pin lashes. Southern rap can be traced back to West African syntax. It's been backers trying to segregate the all form diversity. Some niggas steady street. Some trap in the university. Mercy me, no reversing the line between both. What you call blasphemy, I call necessary growth. Look, every week I get a call, text, or email. By somebody trying to sign me off my retail History cause it fits the need of a label's void Then they try to avoid any question dealing with detail If he sells his sell short for a lesser share Then he's less prepared when the ship's sinking and things fail Bring hell up to heaven's feet And watch the buyers seek refuge in a huge hole where deceit dwells The heat pales in comparison so embarrassing Either they want a thug or a safer artist to pair with him But fuck your label, judge a person by his marathon Watch the metric raise to a higher space where we share a win You sharing pins, you scared to Stare at the glare within Every tear at him Is a deep-rooted generic hymn That's where the problem lays Social media rappers Drop songs to coincide With every holiday Like Christmas Day MLK Halloween The inauguration I'm sick of the saturation Please show me imagination An inkling of maturation None of these rap niggas Can even match what I'm facing I'm facing a new facade With every face that I encounter Counterproductive comments Can never steer me down A rabbit hole I hold myself to a standard No other person can reach My only purpose is eat It's like We've come so far to go right back What happened to assimilation There is no white black One day you cuffing your jeans Banana Republic The next day they laughing at you Throwing bananas in public Fuck it I've been in the bad storm The feeling you get when you passed on People pretend they want to be friends But really just want to be latched on Like a cub to a mother's teat Nothing speaks louder than a person's actions You can't retract them There's more than one way to spot a narcissist What more can one say to stay apart from this they say it's just days before the darkness hits But I guarantee none of our past leaders had marched for this It's like hate is the only currency Planted in the soil that sprouted out from the current seed The current bleeds with fear and intimidation Sold back to the public in fear of a timid nation Smearing in the face of the people you claim is ignorant No place to judge when you came from the same sentiment A regime change is imminent You're not pure native descent Then guess what? You're an immigrant like we all are, nothing left but the brawl fall Victim to a grudge when we all came from afar, y'all Since the device and this how they split us and fight with us Pit us against each other and smother any insightfulness It's rules to the game, it's rules to the game provided within Never take nothing personal and ride for your friends Never sign to a rapper unless you vibe with his pen Nine out of ten, he'll never let you shine brighter than him Woo! Then develop your own spark, try to empower your own art They flooded me with offers, I started building my own arc you never find your asset till you become an asset I read the script and I wrote in my own part And I don't partake with these people and their opinions online My focus is me and improving my grind I'm using my time that I have on earth to unearth any potential falsehoods Exposing you falsehoods, you a farce A pathetic sum of all of your parts That's partially due in part to you refusing your heart You can start to analyze what they randomly speak Or just look inside and find what you actually seek Olive Branch 888 eight, shade oh, four Jesus five street Christ. people radio. Give me another beat. Yo, yo, let, 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 yeah, Hip hop shit is in the building. See, That's what I'm talking Chills. about. Listen, go tell lock. niggas like this. Go. Yeah. I can say more just by saying less. I command the floor so they stay abreast. Niggas rap for 40 minutes straight and say nothing, and they turn and look at me because I ain't impressed. See, it's quality over quantity. I possess both, so these other rappers should honor me. I don't just boast, my main focus is honesty. The game is on lock, ironically. How do you play the game when the game is unfair? Some bear. I would rather separate than have to eat the crumbs there. I would rather be myself doing something that I love than get paid to get swept under the rug. I don't give a fuck about your analytics. You full of gimmicks. Real shit grows over time, and that's a given. Slowly cultivate what I know is a fan base that is based on the truth and not a man made image. As a man think it so shall it be 
I do not believe in your fallacy I will not concede or impede I just focus on me and take heed of your childish deeds Don't breathe is the consensus I know they want to strive to desensitize my senses I don't take offense to the fence you place in front But do the same when I choose to be blunt They say opinions are like assholes I disagree a little Half on one side, the other half is like the biddle The other half, they only work me to shine The other half only apply when they see a cosign But me, I care less about either, I'm not eager Steadily count checks and continue to live meager Mitigate the monetary sums I gross And reinvest in my dreams, not material things You think it's all lights and cameras Till you decide to stand with us Witness firsthand the circumstances they handed us Ban with us, if you sick of the banter It's time to banish any and all negative draw Within my canvas, I'm canvassing both coastlines Most boast rhymes Claim they stacking up O's, but those folks lying Those trying to deny my acts, I can only strike back with facts I run my own tours and I own my own label Open my own doors and sit at my own table Half black and Middle Eastern, full beast when I'm starving So I probably won't be your little media darling And I probably won't eat the little crumbs that you bargain And I probably disagree with your meaningless jargon you fake ass journalists, get your shit straight Your whole Twitter feed is a centipede of clickbait Underestimated the state in me, what they say to me is Nothing more than a glorification of plagiary If I pay you a visit, you better pivot Niggas said they want my spot but couldn't walk a day with me Who you know can do a show in the underground and mainstream Rock both crowds without sacrificing the main theme My mainstream of revenue is my honesty So I could care less what you execs offer me Off with his headphones, spitting to the lead gone I know your girl well, her nickname is Headstrong Hesitate Tales, either way I prevail Let him keep counting sheep I continue to count male The best rapper in the bay for like 10 years The best rapper in Cali for like 5 There's really no comparing me to my peers As an artist I am one of a kind You can study my rhymes You can study my grind You can research my work See I'm humble at times but when I do feel the need to stampede my position That's when jealous people take opposition They can make a claim it's cool No hate I do the same and feel the flame Cause it holds more weight but I could care less about a title When I'm more focused on opening doors for the idol It's vital that I express my feelings when I choose You tell a nigga your dreams, he tell you some bad news mm. I guess that's why I keep it to myself And I never show the cars that I'm dealt And it is Shade 45 nigga. Street Sweeper Radio God damn K Slate, John McKing in the building What's up, K? Locksmith <laughs> I mean, you came here to handle your business And As do what usual. the fuck you supposed to do, man All the branch in store Friday. Friday. Make sure y'all cop that shit. Is that shit on iTunes? It's on okay. iTunes. It's on Spotify. Every time it's on you come Google, up in this motherfucker, I spend money. God you damn. name a nigga that's spitting like that, man. No Yo, one. I would love to hear you ain't on nobody. a track with Eminem. You know oh my. Come on, man. Stop. Come on, motherfucker. Shout out to the Detroit <laughs> homie Eminem. Yo, that would be golden. Definitely want to thank you for coming through, <laughs> sitting down with us. That yeah, thank you, K man, for always Politic having me up here. You understand? I'm saying, letting them bars go. Um. Shit, definitely make sure y'all get this project. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard why y'all should go get the project. You understand what I'm saying? This Friday, Olive Branch. <laughs> Which way you want to go out to? You want to shout anything else out, bro? Uh, man, shout out to my boy Nova in here. Shout out to everybody that worked on the album. Um, man, everybody, so many people. It's a collaborative effort. My man, Mike Topnotch, who's my partner. My man, uh, Mike Blankenship, who's my partner. Everybody that came out tonight in Harlem and showed me love. I mean, I'm from the Bay Area, man. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm from California. I come to Harlem, and it's a pack house, man. Everybody show me love. So thank you, East Coast. Oh. This is my this is my home now. Thank you, K-Slay, Jazzy Bell, everybody, the whole crew. Olive Branch is in stores now. Iamlock.com. Where we going out to? Number seven. Warning. 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 The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building.